Hey, how's it going? Today we're gonna to be doing another pants video. It's been a while since I've done one, but I've picked up a lot of pants between that one and this one. And as always, the quest for the perfect tactical pant continues. I'm noticing my face is crazy white with the exposure on my sweatshirt. This is, so I'm reviewing the tactical distributors, Braddock pants, which are, they might be my favorite pants for just doing stuff right now. Uh, super heavy duty. I am wearing, I picked up a handful of tactical distributors gear. This is the Shaolin hoodie, one second. Maybe you figured out why it's called the Shaolin hoodie, or maybe you haven't, but it's because it makes you look like a ninja. I got it in black though. If I did it again, I'd probably do it in gray because the black is kind of a dog hair magnet. As you can see, one of the defining features is a built-in balaclava that you can also drop down to like a little neck scarf type thing. It's relatively thin, but this isn't a review on this sweatshirt. I just thought it was cool and I was wearing it. If you would like a review on it, let me know. Comment down below. I'll link to it so you can check it out on your own. So let's talk about the pants here. These are the Tactical Distributor Braddock pants. I think they're new this year. I'm not sure. But anyways, they're, they're great for me. I live in Colorado like a lot of you guys know. It gets cold. I do stuff. I do a lot of stuff outdoors. I'll, you know, I got to go snow blow my driveway. I'm working in my yard, chopping wood, doing any kind of things outside, you know, man stuff in the winter. These pants... Although they're not like, you know, a waterproof pant. They are a thick, heavy duty cotton uh, canvas pant. You put these pants on and you just feel like you're like a man that's gonna do man stuff in these pants. And I, I, I love them. The fit is, you know, roomy, but they're not, I wouldn't say they're super, super baggy, but they're also not, you know, they're not a slim pant by any means. Uh, they're, they're pretty comfortable for what they are, but the thing that sets these apart from pretty much every other pant that I've talked about is the material. This is just heavy, duty, thick, abrasion resistant. If you're just a, a man that's doing man stuff, these, these are gonna be the pants that you're looking for. You know, you're crawling around on the concrete under your car, you're walking through thorn bushes, whatever. These pants are gonna hold up really, really well. Uh, the material's just, it's, it's awesome and it's warm, so they're a good winter pant, especially for me out here in Colorado, like I mentioned earlier. So let's just kinda get into the, the review of these pants like I do mostly all my pant reviews and talk about the stuff that you guys care about. So sizing, they, they fit true for me. 32, 32 is what I usually wear. 32, 32 in these pants fit me great. Uh, the material, just while I was talking about it, this material isn't stretchy, but you'll see here, these little guys, and then back here, this little portion, and then your crotch as well, does have stretchy fabric. So at all the points that you know you need a little bit of extra motion and movement and stretch in your pants, all that stuff, you have these stretch layers here while all the points where you're gonna need abrasion resistance, thicker material, you're gonna have that thicker material for you. So we'll get into it like we usually do and start at the top and then kind of talk about the pockets and stuff and then work our way down. So at the top here, I do, as I always mention, I make and sell holsters. This is a little prototype guy. Uh, but if you're interested in holsters, I'll put my email down. Feel free to contact me. Uh, up here we have, I'm wearing a Boxer Tactical uh, 1.5 inch Cobra. I forget the name of it, but a really awesome, solid, high, high quality belt. Great stitching, excellent. If you're into Cobras, check this belt out. But we're gonna talk about the belt loops here. Nice and big. Can it fit the 1.5 inch Cobra belt buckle through? Sure can. It isn't, you know, it, it fits pretty much no problem, but it's, not any bigger than it needs to be to fit these buckles through. So belt loops, I give it an A, an A, <laughs> an a. I'm not really rating these. I don't rate, I don't give ratings. Back here we have my microphone, but we also have the little kind of tactical distributors Velcro loop. So you can put your belt through this if you want and put a patch on there if you want. Belt loops are laid out really nice. They're thick, heavy duty fit your belt through it, so no complaints there. The enclosure is a button, nice big button, and you have your fly, YKK zippers. It is a really heavy duty fly. Length is ample. I honestly could go for a little bit longer, but I think this is pretty much average size fly length we got going on here. 
Now the pockets are what I love. I love, love, love these pockets. We don't have a magazine pocket. The only thing missing because we do have this kind of like stretch fabric layer here and I don't think a mag pocket would really work. It'd kind of be a little confusing, but we don't have mag pockets, but we do make up for those pockets with everything else we got going on. So I'm gonna go through the pockets, kind of how I have them set up so you can decide if that's how you wanna have them set up as well. So we'll start on the left here. I think the pockets are all symmetrical. So if I'm talking about a pocket on one side, we're gonna have the exact same setup, including the little coin pockets, even though people don't really put coins in them anymore. These are the same on both sides. So we have here on my left side, I have my little Olight S1R flashlight in here. We have a coin pocket in here, relatively deep. So this is a lightning OTF. People were complaining about the price of my Microtech OTF. If you want a cheap little OTF, this little lightning, you know, it's a lot of fun to play with, not a high quality knife. Anyway, does fit down in there all the way. So these coin pockets are deep enough to put something all the way in, which is, I, I, I like it. A lot of these coin pockets are really short and you can use them, you know, they're good for change, but they're not really good for anything else. And then we have our normal pockets here. These normal pockets are ample depth. You can see my full hand, full extension in here. And the pockets I really like, which are on the McQuaid and the standard ground jeans, is this little pocket that allows you to put more stuff into. So I'll get over to these pockets on the other side because I don't really store anything in my left side. So sometimes I'll put my phone in my pocket, but just because I want it in my normal pocket, but just because I wanted to show, we also have these lower pockets here. Nice for a phone. This, I'm trying out a new phone. This is the Essentials phone. Check this baby out, look at the bezel on that. Kind of like the iPhone X, but maybe even a little better. Still probably gonna hold out for the Pixel. Maybe I'll get the iPhone, not the X actually, the 10, my bad. Do you wanna see a review of this phone? I don't know. All you tech guys like the tech stuff and all you non-tech guys don't really care for it. Anyway, phone in there, but if you don't wanna put your phone in there, you wanna put your phone in your pocket, these work well for mags. Here we have an AR-15 mag with a mag pod in there. Fits nice. So it has these pockets. Same one on the other side for you. Back pocket, we have a pretty standard setup here. Sorry, my mic flying around again. Fairly deep. And to note, we do have like a double reinforced lip edge here and a double reinforced lip edge here. I personally am not really a fan of the double, double lip. Uh, Though I know a lot of people are, they're features some people look for. I don't like the added thickness because some of the clips of things I use don't really fit over them well. So I would opt for not the double thickness, but you know, you can't really do a heavy duty pant, I think, without doing kind of like the double thickness stuff. So we have double thickness on the back pocket, and then we have double thickness here on this little pocket. Now on the other side of my pants is where things get a little more interesting, I guess. So we have in this coin pocket, I have my Leatherman Skeletool, I have a stainless steel Sharpie, and then down in here, hidden kind of, I'm carrying this Microtech OTF. Now this isn't a knife I carry all the time, it's just kind of a new toy that I'm having a lot of fun with right now, so I'm kind of carrying it just to play with more than anything. But that pocket here, I think you can see in the camera, we have this stitching here. The stitching is the size of this inner pocket. So this pocket here, you could clip stuff to it or you could just put something down in here and it won't move around that much. Now that's not even the main pocket. We have one more pocket. So we have like a trifecta of pockets right here. So great for someone like me that likes organization and separation. A lot of times I'll put my key in this little pocket so it's easier to get out of and it's riding at a different length so you don't have so much stuff like making this part of your pocket nice and big and bulky. So I like separation. So down in here, we have the Ridge, which is my main ride still currently. I just love the minimalism of the Ridge wallets. Uh, I did a full wallet review video showdown comparison not long ago if you're interested in the wallets I've tried out. We have my Tacoma key. And then we just have some chapstick. So that's pretty it for my typical loadout on these pants. Great pockets, great organization, uh, great separation, all the things I really like and look for in a pant, uh, and enough, enough pockets to really go around. So we'll go a little lower down here now. These are pretty, they seem like a relatively straight fit to me. Good length, and then the double thickness 
does extend down here onto the heel portion of the pants. So if you have heel wear, if your pants are dragging, you have double reinforcement back there as well. And what is a heavy duty pant without double layer knees as well? So the fabric already super thick, heavy duty, but we got two layers of it right here for you. I think that's it, wraps it up. These pants obviously aren't gonna be for everyone in every situation. Definitely a colder, cooler weather pant, I would say. Uh, I wouldn't be wearing these out in 100 degree weather if I had a choice. And you know, maybe if you're in the business casual type environment, these are a little much. But for me in my life and my routine, these are really, really great pants. Definitely worth checking out. As always, guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for taking two seconds to hit that thumbs up button if you found this video helpful. Uh, if you hate me and everything I stand for, hit that thumbs down button. I know some of you do. If you're not subscribed to the channel, get subscribed. Again, everything I talked about in this video, all my EDC items, sweatshirt, pants, shoes, whatever, I'll link to in the video description below. Clicking those links does help support the channel. So anytime you need to get some shopping done, click those links, I appreciate it. Winter's basically here in Colorado, so I'll probably be doing, I'll probably be talking about a lot more kind of outerwear and stuff like that. I always like to hear you guys' recommendations, your opinions on this, your questions, your comments. If you have questions about anything I make a video on, feel free to comment below, let me know, and I'll try and get around to them. I do read most of my comments still, you know, I'm not a huge channel, uh, and I try to put some time, I put more time into reading comments than I do making videos, which probably isn't good, but just so you know. Uh, also, yeah, like I said, recommendations. If you have, if you know a piece of gear that you think I would love, let me know. A lot of the gear I find out about is from comments. So I read those things, I check them out. So I really appreciate those things. All right, as always guys, take it easy.